Hello, hello, hello my friends. Welcome to yet another video proudly brought to you by GFM, United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and today I'm going to be praying for you prayers that will make you good with people. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to be good with people? Are you ready to be able to connect easily with other people? Then this one is for you. Today we're going to be taking our reading from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse 43 to 48. And as usual, I want you to pause the video right over here. Go and read that quickly. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. Okay, are you done reading it? Okay, let's get on to this. I just wanted to highlight to you some points that I saw over here, and I'm going to be very quick because I want to get to the prayers. First of all, the first thing that I saw is that King Jesus wants us to love our enemies. Do you love your enemy? Do you love that person who's attacking you, that person who's coming against you, that person who's persecuting you? Jesus wants you to love your enemies. He wants you to love those who are persecuting you. Furthermore, another thing I saw is that Jesus, King Jesus, wants us to pray for those who persecute us. Are you praying for those people? Are you praying for their salvation? Are you praying that God will change their lives? Pray that God will change them and make them better people so that they don't attack you. The third thing, um, that I saw that King Jesus uh, Jesus highlighted the third thing that I saw that King Jesus highlighted and I think this is very important because you know many times what happens is you know when someone wrongs you and then you sort of see them being blessed and prospering after they've wronged you then you start to question why is God allowing this to happen why is an evil man uh, succeeding while he's done evil to other people and uh, Jesus actually talked about this he said God makes the sun rise on both evil and good men. So God is a good God, but He is in charge and He knows better. So what basically what Jesus said is that don't worry when you see an evil man or someone who has wronged you succeeding. Don't worry about that because God knows what He's doing. He's in charge. Rather be perfect. Be a child of God and do the things that I'm telling you now. Also, another thing that Jesus said is if you only love those who love you, then there's no difference uh, between you and the non-believer. You have to be the salt and light to the world. You have to be the difference. You have to love everybody. Don't just love those who love you. Don't just love your siblings. Don't just love your brother or your sister. Love everybody. In order to be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect, you must love your enemies. You must pray for those who persecute you. You must be free. Be, be free to connect with other people. Be free to love anybody not just those who relate to you and that's how you can be perfect and you can be a child of the most high god now i want to pray for you i want to pray that god will make you good with people that god will connect you with people and i believe that there's so much power in the name of jesus power that is more than an atomic bomb and that power can it, it can affect a change do you know what do you know what an atomic bomb is an atomic bomb is something that if they had to drop it in the city, I'm here in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. If an atomic bomb had to be dropped here, it would level the whole city. But I believe that there's more power in the name of Jesus than in that bomb. And right now we're going to use the name of Jesus. So I want you to be in a place of prayer. Go, go into a quiet place, take your tablet, take your laptop, wherever you're watching from. And just be in a private place where you can pray along with me. And God will bless you. God will heal you. God will touch you and meet you at your point of need. Okay, so let us pray. Let's begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. Lord Jesus, you are my Savior. You are my Deliverer. You are my Savior. You are the first and the last. It is through you that I was created. You are the Word of Life, Lord Jesus. You are the Word of God become manifest. You are the Son of God manifest. You came and died for me to restore me back to God again. Wow, I feel the presence of God already, my friend. I feel the presence of God. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the deep. And then in verse 3, God said, Let there be light. God waited for the Holy Spirit to be on the scene before He made any words or before He prayed or before He did anything. And that's what we're going to do. The Holy Spirit is here. Now let us begin to pray. Father God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus for my dear friend watching this video, for my brother, for my sister. Lord, I pray that you will give them more love and more of your grace, Lord. Lord, I pray that you will give them the grace to love others. Give them the grace to love others. Give them grace, Lord, 
that they will just be able to connect with other people, Lord. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for those who have been wronged, those who have been offended, those who have been hurt. Lord, I pray that you will give them the grace to forgive, Lord. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I pray, Lord, give my dear friend who is watching this video, give my dear brother, my dear sister, freedom to connect with other people. Give them that um, attractiveness that comes in the, in the, with the Holy Spirit where they can connect with other people and people are just drawn to them. Give them that, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let it be over them right now with power and with fire. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you will heal my friend. Maybe my friend has been hurt. Maybe my friend has been in pain. Maybe my friend has been rejected, offended, betrayed. Lord, I pray for healing of every hurt. I pray for healing of every pain. I pray for healing of every offense. I pray for healing and deliverance from every offense and betrayal. And I pray that their hearts will just heal right now and they'll be able to live a normal, perfect life in the name of Jesus. Make this vessel who is watching right now whole, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Heal my brother of every heartbreak that he's experienced. Heal my sister of every heartbreak that she's experienced. Heal her completely, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit shows me just now there's someone who's going to watch this video. You've been hurt really badly. I, I believe it's a young lady and you've been raped um, by one of your family members. I pray for you right now, for healing to come over you, that those scars will just be covered up with God's grace and that they'll disappear out of your life and you'll be able to live the life of a whole person in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Finally, Father, I pray for relationships, Lord. I pray that you will bring a restoration to relationships, relationships that have been destroyed by the devil, relationships that have been lost. Bring a restoration, Lord. Relationships that you ordained that should have been here but have been lost, Lord. Bring them back, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are able to make dry bones live again. I pray that you will make dry bones of every relationship, friendship, connection, uh, partnership, that was broken by the enemy make those dry bones come back to life lord i pray in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and finally father i pray for my dear friend who is watching this video for my brother for my sister give them the grace to be the salt and light of the world give them the grace to be a light that shines from the rooftops from the mountaintops let them shine out to the rest of the world lord and let them be blessed i pray this in the mighty mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth Amen and amen. My dear friend, I know like I know that God has done something in your life. I want you to connect with me. I want you to tell me what God has done for you. If God has blessed you in this video, I want you to write to me. Info at GabrielFernandezMinistries.org It's now changed from .com, it's now .org. Info at GabrielFernandezMinistries.org And also, if you want to sign up to um, our month our weekly uh, prophetic word which includes um, uh, daily prayer I pray for the prayer list everybody who's on that list I pray for them daily um, if you want to be part of that go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and sign up um, you'll see it it's written weekly prophetic words sign up to that make sure you're in there and actually what happens is your name gets added automatically to my uh, daily electronic intercession and prayer list and I want to pray for you that God will just come through for you in your life and that your life will never be the same again and saying that it brings us to the end of this video uh, God bless you God keep you God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you until we meet again next time I bless you with a blessing of obedience to the voice of God in Christ Jesus for myself evangelist Gabriel Fernandez Shalom and goodbye